Hello, my name is Don Olivo. I'm a teacher here at Cardwell. We have a music program that uh, we meet twice a week with our students. We are looking at uh, how music affects uh, the brain. We know that the research tells us that music helps to the students to develop reading skills, helps uh, them to develop math skills. Rhythm helps them to also uh, to learn language. Well, you know, our program is uh, totally based on research, and so being that this program is uh, are preparing our students for kindergarten. You know, we'd like for our students to be very successful. We know that when they leave here, that uh, they're leaving with with a, a good self-esteem uh, and also a confidence in, in what they're doing in their skills. We're very uh, very proud of our program. This year, we are we were designated a TEA's uh, Texas Education Agency's a Pre-K Center of Excellence for the state, and we're under the direction of Linda Guanajuato Webb and we're very proud to be under her direction. I'd like to also add uh, that we're very proud also of the program. The program's being run uh, for the music project by uh, music ambassadors that are here on our campus, and uh, we're not band directors or have any specialization in music other than we are musicians as well. Each one of us uh, have a music background, so that's how we're able to share that with our students, those skills, and help them develop those skills. We also like to thank the school district. Uh, they've been helping us to acquire a lot of these music instruments here that you see around here that the students have been using. We're very, very proud of that too, that we're able to uh, continue on in the endeavors of the school district to uh, promote the fine arts program here as well. Hi, my name is Alex Mischenfelder, and I am the music teacher here at Calderon Elementary. I've been here for three years, and I've, I've been doing the choir now. It's just a great opportunity to, to get students to, to come to choir after school. It gets them interested in being choir when they're in middle school, and also gives them an idea as well if they want to be in band or, or strings in the future. And I, I try to do my best to make sure that they uh, fall in love with music. I work with my choir students uh, once a week on Wednesdays after school. We work on everything from uh, choir warm-ups so that when they're in middle school they will be ready for that. Uh, well, I just love getting all the new students in. I love hearing their their, their voices. Uh, it helps them in many ways. They want to get involved in when they're in middle school to be in strings, band, or, or choir. We also do play a lot of instruments in here as well during choir. One year we, we played ukuleles. It, it just I try to get their interest not just only in choir but also band and strings as well. Hello, my name is Kimberly Hernandez. I have been in choir for three years. I'm in fifth grade. I enjoy being in choir because it makes me feel really cool and it's really nice singing for other people. I learned to not be afraid to sing. I learned how to play the ukulele and I, I learned how to read music. It helped me to sing with my family and not be afraid of singing. I think it's going to help me a lot because maybe when I grow up, I'm going to be able to do a lot of stuff with my music. My name is Brianna Moraira. I'm the principal of Calderon Elementary. Uh, we have K through 5 students here. Right now we have our district choir group. Uh, they have uh, music once a week, but this is an extracurricular program and they get to uh, perform at the, in at the end of the school to show how uh, much they've learned and what they've practiced. It's a great opportunity for them to practice their skill, to learn more about music. We have a fabulous music teacher who promotes the program and they are able to be part of a outside uh, group. They have music once a week with Mr. Mitchie, the, the music teacher, but this particular group meets two or three times after school uh, so they can practice their different songs. So. I'm Ginger Humphreys and I teach second grade at Garfield Elementary. We're using strategies that have been in place for a long time but haven't been seen in the classroom an awfully lot. The strategies are to help the children actually gain meaning and understanding from what they're reading. As they are reading, many times children are taught the phonics early in their reading experience and they can sound words out, decode is what it's called. And so they can decode the words and say them but they have no understanding of what they're reading or little understanding. These strategies help them question themselves, do I know what I'm reading about? Can I summarize what I'm reading about? Can I retell to someone else what I'm reading about? And not only to gain understanding, which of course they're going to need in higher level reading, but to enjoy reading, to understand it and have a fun love of reading. Those little strategies the reluctant readers. We have so many programs in this school specifically to help them. We have all kinds of ways to try to really engage the children in a love of reading. Hi, my name is McKenna. I'm eight years old and I'm in second grade. I learn comprehension strategies and reading better. 
helps you learn better and keep you to go on to the next grade level. Mrs. Humphreys has taught us background knowledge and visualizing. It's fun and it helps you learn better and keep you to go on to the next grade level. Hi, my name is Grace Westlake. I'm an assistant principal here at Garfield Elementary. And we're really excited because we're doing a book study on the seven keys to comprehension. And we realized that our students, um, even though they know how to read, they're fluent readers, a lot of times they're having a difficult time comprehending. And our teachers are learning about the comprehension strategy. Our teachers have really taken to the strategies. They're using them in the classrooms. Uh, they're becoming famili more familiarized. That our students will benefit greatly from them. And that as they read, they will become better comprehenders of the text that they're reading so they, they can know what, what it is that they're reading about. My name is Noah Cepeda. I am the strings teacher here for all elementaries at SFDR CISD. I teach strings here once a week here at Lamar every Monday. I only get to see them only one time a week. How I see the be kids benefit? I already see them with their self-discipline, the way they're coming to class. They're much more motivated when they come in here. They get to have goal settings. We have actually a set of instruments at every elementary. The students don't get to take their instruments home. They start in the fourth grade. The selection process goes, I first see them one in the beginning of the school year, and I give them a, a general music test to see if they could hear the difference between notes. Then after that, I talk to the teachers, see if, if they are well disciplined, see if they can get out of their classes. They are learning skills that's gonna help them out for the future. Self-discipline, motivation, poise, all this, all these skills that are needed so when they get out of high school. It's not just to learn music, it's not just to learn how to play an instrument, it's for them to grow as a person too. I am Mr. Cepeda, thank you very much. Hi, my name is Sarah Martinez, I'm in fifth grade and I have been playing the violin for two years. By playing the violin, I have learned to love music more, and I learned how to read music in the fifth grade. It's gonna help me act academically, because uh, music usually helps you in your schoolwork and it helps you concentrate and remember things better. Hello, my name is Jorge Limon. I'm the principal at Lamar Elementary. Um, behind me, as you can see, we have uh, some of our students uh, participating in the strings program. This is the second year that our district has been working with our strings instructors to uh, work with our students in fourth grade and in fifth grade. The strings program is a group of students that are selected. But again, this is just another example, another illustration of what our school district is doing to promote the arts. I see a lot of talent in our students. It's heartwarming and exciting to see what an instrument in the hand of a child can actually produce. I'm very excited to be a part of the school district that promotes and highlights our students and that really encourages them to bring out their talent, to make sure that what they're doing right now is laying the foundation for their future. A simple violin in a fourth grader's hand is going to end up being phenomenal in their future. And I'm very, very eager and anxious to see what this is going to produce. My name is Selena Limon. I've been teaching here at Buena Vista, the fourth graders. I have been coaching at UIL for the last two years with dictionary skills. The students have really benefited from this program because they get to compete with other students. They put, push themselves to be better every time we compete. It's good sportsmanship and it really pushes them to excel in everything, not just in UIO, but throughout the rest of their academics. The students practiced about once a week and then as we got closer to our competition, they were here every day for at least the three weeks leading up to our competition, sometimes mornings and afternoons. So the students were really, really dedicated to their craft. I'm very, very, very proud of our students here at Buena Vista. Um, our group for dictionary skills I know practiced extremely hard, put in all of their hard work and dedication, and I know all of the students here at Buena Vista have done the same. So we really excelled due to their hard work. Hi, my name is Laura Limon, and I am the robotics coach at Buena Vista Elementary. 
And this is a group that consists about 16 students, fourth graders and fifth graders. And we're basically talking about your top-notch kids at Buena Vista Elementary. In robotics, they have to be programming their robots. They design robots themselves. They program using math and physics on the computer. It's not remote controlled, so they really have to know decimals to the tens and to the thousands in order to maneuver these uh, robots in the way that they want to. The whole idea of the program or the competition this year was to move cogs, which are tuna cans, from one position to another position and they accumulated points and that was the course of their competition. This benefits the students in many ways. They're working with math, like I said. They're working with physics, even though they don't know much about physics, but they're working with it. Um, they interact with each other. It works a lot. It helps them a lot with group work, teamwork. Um, I just want to um, invite students to participate in programs like these because these are your future engineers of America and we're training them so young and they have so much fun doing it. So this is a great program for kids of all ages. Hi, I'm Carol Ely. I'm one of the PE coaches here at Ruben Chavita Elementary. I'd just like to thank everyone for building a gym for us and we really do appreciate it and we're using it. They started reconstruction last year, but we started using it about a month ago. The kids have truly enjoyed it. Um, during r rainy or really cold days before we would have to sit them inside and have to do a health lesson but now we are still able to get them active and playing inside and now we're able to do bowling which we weren't able to, to do before because of the wind um, we're able to do a lot more things inside because of the humidity and now that the temperature's going up it's really nice that we can get the kids inside to play well PE is very important especially now with kids being um, obese now that we don't have to keep them inside the classroom. We're able to bring them inside, have them exercise. We even have them walk around the perimeter of the gym, and then we'll have a game going on as well. Hi, I'm April Cole. I'm the librarian here at Ruben Chavita Elementary. The new library is a very open, spacious um, area for our students. It has allowed us to enlarge our collection. Um, the students really enjoy having the natural light that comes in and it provides us with an awesome classroom to um, instruct in technology skills. The old library was in the center of the school which made it ideal but we only had shelves along the walls and so it limited the size of collection that we could have and so we're very thankful for the large space and um, now that we have an actual classroom we're able to have classes while students still check out books all day long. I instruct in the skills for the library, how to find books, how to search on the computer. Also we introduce different types of literature, poetry, fiction, nonfiction, and with the old older students we um, begin technology skills such as creating PowerPoint, searching databases, and doing research projects. Everything is based on research and finding the skills on your own and not necessarily just in print like everyone thinks an old library is. We also need to keep up with the now and teach them technology skills to go along with it. This is Musquiz Ortiz at North Heights Elementary, student council sponsor. We do a lot of community projects, working with anti-bullying procedures, keeping campus spirit going, working with the high school also, to, um, like in the homecoming parade, keep uh, the RAM spirit going also. Uh, it's a great after school activity for them, keeps them responsible for different things they have to do outside of the classroom, having to stay after school, work with projects, um, learning that in order to help the community it does take work. Most of the projects have been student led, for example in uh, November we did a canned and dried food drive and the students had to collect everything, load it all up, pull out any expired uh, food. The only help that the sponsors gave them was to help them load it into the car because <laughs> the boxes were pretty heavy. We also had a toy drive in December to raise money for the Sheriff's Office and the Pathways Family and Youth Services. Student Council uh, has an election at the beginning of the year. It takes a lot of work but in the end it's very satisfying. I have a super awesome group of kids here. Um, they work very hard throughout the year and I'm very very proud of them. I'm a school student and I'm in fifth grade. I like that there's plenty to do and that we help others. Like there's food drives, so kids who, people who don't have enough food to celebrate, they at least have something to eat too. I have family members in Mexico who know how it feels to not have food sometimes and it hurts 
broke my heart a lot, so I want to help other people so they will not be like that too. Hello, my name is Carolina Sanchez and I'm in fourth grade. I like it because we get to help our community and it's a, I think it's a very good thing for kids. We had 200 or more toys that we got with the toy drive and we're gonna recycle this week to help Earth Day. I made a lot of friends and a lot of memories that I get to hang out with my friends, I get to help my community. It's a very nice feeling. I'm Mr. Koji. I teach kindergarten at Lonnie Green. At, at Lonnie Green and across the district, we have a wonderful science program. Our students this six weeks are learning about plants, plant needs, uh, what they take to grow, and we're actually growing some plants here in the room to, to get an idea of what that is. Science is very important because it, it forms the, the basis for a lot, of, a lot of occupations and a lot of different walks of life all have their foundations in science, plus it's a wonderful way to learn because they develop their thinking skills and learn how things work, learn why they work the way they work, and hopefully go out there and invent new things. We've done a variety of projects in science uh, throughout the year. We've, uh, we've, we've studied uh, bones, we've studied uh, seeds, worked with magnets, observed whether items sink or float, just made general observations, recorded the data. The students actually keep a science journal um, that has all of the projects that we've worked on throughout the year. They get to take it home at the end of the school year. I, I think science is, the, is the, the gel that puts the different subjects together because it's hard to do science without using reading. It's hard to do science without using math. It's hard to do science without thinking of social studies skills. They all go together. I'm Kyle Barnes. Um, science, it's, it's a good way for life. We're growing plants. Bean plants, sunflower, and um, pinto. We give them like a little dirt um, and and two cups of water. Um, science is like um, science is a good way to learn. Hello, everyone. I'm Jane Villarreal. I'm the principal at Dr. Lonnie Green Elementary. PE program, I, we focused on that because too often we focus on academics. We don't ever get to see our students, um, their strengths in, in the other areas. We try to emphasize them having at least 30 minutes of, of activity time every day. They get their activity here at three three days out of the week, but we also encourage them to do physical activity every evening because um, they are going to be our future rams and queens for our district. So I'm um, just trying to get them more motivated for uh, physical activity. I'm Lena Keaton from the San Felipe Memorial Middle School URL program. Um, these are our first year of sixth graders getting to compete in San Antonio against other San Antonio schools. So we have uh, two coaches here and we have a group of students and the wonderful trophies that, that they worked hard to earn during our competition season. I'm Art Mendez, I am one of the coaches. I had a, a duet humorous team and the history team with the sixth graders. It allows them to participate in, in an area that is interesting to them so of mm -hmm. course they're going to put more effort into it because of that. It gives them that opportunity to specialize in one area. It gives them an opportunity to meet certain challenges, um, the dedication they have to put in the restrictions and to overcome that. Hi, I'm Marianne Ortiz. I coach poetry and prose. Very proud of my students. They've always made it to the Tournament of Champions. So they have to come to practice and I was very strict on that to where they would come to practice every single time that they were assigned. They would practice there. But then I told them as well, you know what, you might be nervous, but the other kids are as nervous as you are. It's the first time they're competing against Dario kids. And I think you have already heard that UIL, Dario usually brings first place. I'm Samantha Garcia. I was in poetry for UIL. I, the first competition, I won first, and I made it for the, cha the competition of champions, and I got fourth place. I'm Karina Palacios. I competed in pros do it pantomime and science and the first competition I won first place and I made it for the tournament of champions that first competition I also won fifth place for science and the second competition I won second place for do it pantomime. I'm Mariana Rodriguez I competed in the UIL of dictionary skills um, the first competition, I got first place, and I passed the Tournament of Champions and placed first. My name is Michael Reyes, and I did oration. 
And uh, on the first meet, meet, I got fourth place, and on the tournament of champions, I got second place. Hi, I'm Noel Perez. On the first meet, I got fifth place. I made it for tournament of champions, didn't place, went to state, and I competed for number sense, mathematics, and history. I'm very thankful for all the coaches that helped me uh, get through this year and all the students who did an excellent job and made us all. Good afternoon. My name is Griselda Martinez. I am the Del Rio Middle School UIL coordinator for this campus. We belong to the stall meets and TMSEA. TMSEA, we go all the way to state. What I'm very proud of our students at Del Rio Middle School is that they always hold their head above water. Our kids are survivors. They go up against some of the toughest schools in San Antonio and the state of Texas, and Del Rio is very well represented. Del Rio Middle School UIL rocks our world. Hi, my name is Ty Ford. I competed in number sense and math. I got 58th place in number sense and 172nd place in math out of 4,100 kids in TMSC. Hi, my name is Ian De La Piedra and I competed in number sense and I got 49th place and 127th place in math out of 4,100 kids. I like number sense and math because in my Algebra 1 class, it makes it easier to do all the equations she gives us, and it keeps me ahead of the other kids so I could always help them if they have questions. The fun part about UIL is the trips and hanging out with your friends. Well, I like UIL because I got to hang out with my friends over the trip, and then I also got to compete and beat some other kids from random school. I started number sense since I was in second grade because I like math and my teachers said I was pretty smart. Oh, I started in the third grade, and since my sister did it when she was in the sec third through fifth, I did it also, and I did it like better than her. So. Hi, my name is Robert Lee Owen Jr., and I'm in eighth grade, and I got fourth in the state science fair on the category of chemistry for the science fair. Comparing on how hydrogen and solar energy, which one is more efficient for using environmentally for like vehicles, so it can cut down on oil usages all over America and worldwide. Well, pretty mind-blowing as how far has I gotten. This is my third year going. No one's ever gotten three years in a row to the science fair, except for me. Hi, my name is Miss Beebe. I'm the Sapphires dance director. So April 13th, we got two first place, one second, and one best in category. That they're hardworking, you know, um, good performers, good attitudes, good teamwork, um, and then always doing the best that they can. I guess probably just seeing the change, the how much they progress since the beginning of the year. Some of them don't have a dance background, so they start from the bottom and we work up, work their way up with them, so um, they've come a long way. I hope, well, I hope they continue dancing, and if not, I hope they learn just the importance of teamwork and that if you work hard, you can do anything you want to do. I'm really proud of them and really proud of the way that they performed at competition and i um, looking forward to seeing them go on to the next teams that they're going to go to. Some of them are going to um, try out for Bells or dance companies, so I'm excited to see where they go in the future. Hi, my name is Sheila Samoyego, and I'm in ninth grade, and I'm lieutenant of the Sapphires. Hi, my name is Jocelyn Balderas, and I'm lieutenant officer, and I'm in ninth grade, and I'm a Sapphire. At competition, we did really good. We got first place in officers, second place in, for kick, and the palm, we got first place too. I was like shocked. Like I was like, oh my gosh, she won. What I like is that I made lots of new friends, and um, the main thing is that I love dancing. I, I just love to dance all the time, and Sapphires was the thing for me. It's going to really help me out a lot, because I want to try for dance company, new dance moves that I know that kinda, I can really relate to dance company and stuff like that. I just want to say that if any incoming ninth graders uh, who like dancing or people from the girls from Palm Squad, they, they can come join us and it's really fun. It's, it's a lot. Ms. Bibi will teach you well. My name is Alejandro Torres and I am the student council sponsor and this is Ms. Kelly Ruiz.
We have a lot of activities that we uh, get involved and we try to involve all the clubs here and we try to get activities that involve uh, a lot of the student bodies. We are responsible for homecoming. We do Red Ribbon Week. We do mm, Powder Puff. We had the Battle of the Classes and we had Spring Fling. We do a lot of teacher appreciation and staff appreciation as well. We do a lot of activities that it promotes school pride and school spirit, and uh, we decorate the whole school with uh, posters. We support all the clubs, we support all the, the sports here, here at the high school, and uh, we also try to have one big activity per month. Uh, we have uh, we are responsible for homecoming. We do club fair at the beginning of the year where we introduce all the clubs here at the high school. We also do um, battle of the classes. We do battle of the bands. We do spring fling. We do we participate in the relay for life, and we also are going getting ready for our, our senior award ceremony. We also participate in other community activities like uh, the feast of sharing and the niños navideños. Uh, being it, it, a student council members, what we do is we uh, give them the opportunities to work on their on their resume. So it gives them the opportunity to participate in community activities and and take uh, positions as a leader. We make the students have four hours of service credit per month, and then they have to keep up with the attendance with student council. So they always have to be involved, and uh, we give them um, an opportunity if they ever get in trouble. We give them an opportunity to make up those hours. Hi, my name is Allison Diaz, and I'm the student council president. Um, usually at most meetings, I preside over the meetings. I go by the agenda and explain to everybody what's going on that week for student council. My favorite part of student council is just spending time with different people who love the school just as much as I do. Um, I like being able to represent my school and going out and being a good leader and role model for my school through student council. This is a, a good outlet and a good place that you can start getting involved with the school so that if you do have other interests, you can go out and learn those different things as well because it's kind of worth the starting place and you can go from here to learn different things, get into different clubs and get more involved with our school. I would just like to say that Student Council has given me a lot the past four years. Uh, I'm very proud that I was able to do this and I think that it's going to help me move on to college and be able to go on and do the different things, take what I've learned here in Student Council and be able to put it out into the world.